Local man says his car was broken into twice in three months in the Portland metro area. He thinks that the brand of his car makes him a target. He has also connected with other drivers who say that they've also been targeted. Fox 12's So Young Kim joins us now in studio with that story. So Young? Pete Nora, the victim, says he walked up to his car to check out a broken window. But when he got a good look inside, he found much more than shattered glass. Malachi Hopkins says Sunday started like any other day, but that quickly changed around 3 o'clock. On my computer, my mom comes into my room and she says, Malachi, there is some people circling your car looking at it. He says he immediately ran outside to check on his car parked in his northeast Portland neighborhood. And I see the suspect directly in the driver's seat. That's when he says he started taking video on his phone. He must have been no older than like 16, 17, and was trying to get the screwdriver out of the ignition. Malachi says this is the second time his car has been targeted in three months. The first time was at the Northwest Target in Jansen Beach. I come out of the store, realized that there is a hole or my glass is broken in my car. This time he posted this video to social media, hoping someone would know the suspect. A past high school classmate uh, saying that she knew the individual. Um, I contacted the police again. I let them know that I do have a name. There is a felony arrest warrant out for this person. But he also discovered he wasn't alone. Within two hours, there was comments. He says he's connected with other drivers who say their Kias were also targeted within the last year and says he doesn't think it's a coincidence. There was a video of a guy uh, basically letting the social public know how to break into Kia's. And says he's planning to sell his car. Even the police officer that helped with the case said probably the best thing to do is to sell your car because it's not worth the trouble that you've been in. He says he did file a police report and says repair costs are coming out of pocket, so he started a GoFundMe. We'll have that link on kptv.com. Live in studio, So Young Kim, Fox 12, Oregon.